Good morning, Claude. Have you gotten used to life in Arlia yet? Ah, uh, more or less. I still find myself falling back on my old Earth habits now and then. Say, Claude, are you sure it's all right for you to stay here? You don't regret not going back to Earth? Not at all. I'm here right now because I want to be here. Captain, we'll be entering orbit over planet Matalit shortly. All right, give me a surface scan. Roger. How's this planet look to you? Well, I can't really say much about it yet. As long as it's got a decent water supply, that'll be good enough. Yeah, if we can't obtain any water here, we'll have to go all the way back to Earth to resupply. That wouldn't be such a bad thing, would it? It's been nearly a year since I was there last. Scan complete. M-class planet. Signs of life, but no sentient humanoid species detected. It's got a type E atmosphere, so it should be safe enough to breathe. I'm also detecting large deposits of ore and water. Guess we won't be seeing Earth after all. Seems like it. We might as well make the best of it then. Maybe we'll reach the end of the universe if we keep going. So when do you think you'll be back, Claude? Hmm, well... I'll be involved in military exercises in Sector Beta, so probably not for another six months or so. I see. Well, be careful. I'm sorry that I'm always leaving you like this. It's all right. You're just doing your job. Besides, I don't think I'm going to be alone for much longer. Whoa, what? <laughs> Do I have to spell it out for you? By the time you get back, you're going to be a father. I don't think we're on the right track here. Great. All that work and zero treasure to show for it. Well, that's what treasure hunting is all about. It's all hit and miss. Yeah, but you'd figure there would at least be something. Is that a monster? How wonderful. Care to help me work off some of this stress? Sounds like a plan. Let's have some fun with this. You still see a lot of monsters attacking people around this area, don't you? I guess it's to be expected. Yep. They've had a lot more trouble rebuilding the Kingdom of El than I thought. Yeah. Well, anyway, I think we've driven most of the monsters out of these parts, at least. Hey, Claude. Are you sure you don't need to go back to your home planet? Nah, it's okay. I wanted to stay. Well, the Fuhrer surrounding the Sorcery Globe has subsided, but people are still fighting all over the planet, aren't they? What can I say? That's life for you. I guess we'll be finished with this job once we take this kid back to town. Hey, Dias. 
Where are you planning to go next once we're finished here? Who knows? Wherever my feet take me. Huh. Creases, tea's ready. Thanks, Claude. Give me one second, okay? I'm almost done. Priestess, stop giving me a heart attack all the time. Sorry, Claude. Man, Priestess, I can't believe you've mastered every field of engineering on Earth in only three years. If it weren't for you, it'd probably take another hundred years for Expel to get accepted into the Pan Galactic Federation. Do you really have to butter me up like that? That's not what I'm doing at all. I mean, how many people earn the Ecclesia Prize for Engineering? That's the most prestigious award in the galaxy. I didn't do it all by myself, though. You helped me out a whole lot, Claude. I'm not sure if I've done anything. Sure you did. You are the one who kept me going this whole time. Dr. Newman, Captain Kenny, we'll be arriving on Expel in approximately 60 minutes. So please, get ready to disembark. Oh, thank you. Wow, I can't believe it's been three years since I've been here. Well, good luck with your new job, Claude. I mean, Captain Kenny Federation Ambassador to Expel. <laughs> you too, Dr. Newman. Are you sure it's in here, Claude? I don't know. We'll just have to go in and find out. But we've been looking for almost a year. If that thing actually exists, I'm sure we would have found it by now. Come on, don't be such a whiner. If you can't find it in one year, give it two. If you still can't find it, then give it three years. Hell, five, ten years, I don't care how long it takes. Claude. Don't worry, Ashton. I'm sure there's some way to get this curse off your body without hurting them. Yeah? Yeah, you're right. Come on, let's go. What are you doing, Leon? Oh, just thinking a little. Thinking? Yeah, reminiscing about our adventures a bit. Oh, we sure went through a lot together, didn't we? We sure did. Say, Leon, don't you think it's about time you went back to Expel? Where'd that come from? Well, I just figured you're probably starting to miss life on your home planet. No way! I mean, yeah, sometimes I feel a little homesick, but I never feel like I ought to go back or anything. There's still so much stuff I gotta learn here. What's up, Claude? Just thinking a little. You mean about our little adventure? It's amazing how fast the time's gone by. 
I wonder how everyone's doing. Why don't we try paying them all a visit, Claude? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. This is your first day off a starship in ages. So for today, you're all mine. What's up, Claude? Just thinking a little. You mean about our little adventure? Hmm. I wonder how everyone's doing. Why don't we try paying them all a visit, Claude? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. But you're all mine for today. I hope you haven't forgotten about that mixer we'll be attending. Do I really have to go? I hate wearing a suit and tie. Well, tough. If you're going to be the heir to the Vectra family fortune, you're going to have to start acting like it. Captain, we'll be entering orbit over planet Madelite shortly. All right, give me a surface scan. Roger. It's an M-class planet, sir. There are signs of life, but no sentient humanoid species were detected. It's got a type E atmosphere, so the air should be breathable enough. I'm also detecting large deposits of ore and water. Anything else? Not really. I'm not seeing any man-made structures either. Oh. All right. Add the scan data to our space map. Nothing abnormal to report. That just about rounds out our mission, Captain Kenny. Yep. More zoological research? You really put your heart and soul into this sort of thing, don't you? Oh, hello there, Claude. But are you sure it's a good idea to have such a close relationship with these animals, Noel? Isn't that going to be bad for them in the long run? Hmm. I suppose it's not the most ideal situation, but these guys lost their mothers, and I just don't have it in me to leave them to die out in the open. Besides, I can really feel the devotion these guys have for me. Noel? <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. That's how they show their affection. You're bleeding, Noel. <laughs> ah! Ow! Ow! I'm being attacked! They're really angry at me! Uh, are you all right, Noel? Uh, help! Get them away from me! All right, next up is Vortex, a moon in Sector Sigma. F-type atmosphere, heavy concentration of helium, but it's still breathable. No sentient humanoid life detected, but there's still a chance we'll find some on there. Ready to do some exploring? Right. We're entering warp, everyone. Brace yourselves. The universe is packed with thousands of unknown worlds, just waiting for us to discover them. Onward to new horizons! at the Vandor region. That's where we're fighting the Lazonians, isn't it? Yeah. It's just a pointless little skirmish, but 
We can't really ignore our allies in their time of need. Why do wars have to happen like this? Fighting doesn't solve anybody's problems. Lazonia and the Federation just think too differently about everything. That's life, you know? Well, yeah, but... There's no point dreaming about what'll never happen. All we can do is fight to protect everyone in the Federation. But that's why I'm covering this war. Because I'm following a dream. I want to show the cruelty of war to the universe. I want to bring this pointless conflict to an end as soon as possible. The enemy isn't going to let you go just because you're a journalist. You know, your life's in danger here. I'm not about to turn back just because of that. Because this is my life's work. Yeah, you're right. I hope you really can bring an end to war throughout the universe someday. Leave it to me. What is your problem? Stop being such a slowpoke. Give me a second here. You're the ranking officer on this expedition. Don't give me that nonsense. Why are you in such a rush, Welch? You're making it more dangerous for yourself. I'm just fine, Clyde. Oh, uh, watch out for that patch of ground. It's slippery. Okay. There's kind of a step up here, so... Uh. What? Is there something on my face? No. I'm just glad you agreed to be my partner, Welch. I don't think there's anybody out there who cares about me as much as you do. Oh, what? <laughs> What are you talking about? I... I mean... You're totally useless if I'm not around, so I just, um... Uh, yeah... <laughs> this is gonna be a lot of fun, isn't it? So listen, I'm sorry to bother you with this and everything, but would you mind helping me out with my research? Well, I guess not. But I really don't think there's any way to make my healing power, is there? Of course there is. If symbology is the method we use to unlock the power of the Nidians, then it only makes sense that your Nidian healing power could make the jump as well. I don't even know how this power really works myself. That's why I want to research it. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we found a way to replicate it? That's certainly true. If everyone had healing powers, who knows how many lives that could save? And then our names would go down in history for generations. Both of our names. I'd be the famed, beautiful symbologist who unlocked the secret behind healing symbology. So how's the studying coming along? Oh, hey Bowman! You must be pretty focused if you didn't notice me before I spoke up. Yeah, it's like every book I read here is full of all this stuff I never knew about before. It's really exciting. I guess I kind of lose myself a lot in these sorts of things. <laughs> I figured you'd be that kind of girl. You've got a lot of academic talent, Reyna. If you want to be a scholar, then being able to enjoy your studies is the most important thing you need to have. Oh, it's really nothing that impressive. It is. You're going to be a great scholar someday, Reyna. In fact, I guarantee it.
sorry I haven't come lately. Yeah, it's been a while since we visited your mom and dad. Not to mention Cecile. Well, better get going. Yeah, otherwise we won't make it back to town before sunset. Next month, then. I hope you're happy for us, Cecile. Good morning, Diaz. Oh, Reyna, it's you. How's life in Arlia treating you? Like crap. It's so peaceful here, I can almost hear myself getting rusty. The kids here never shut up. They're a bigger bunch of trouble than any monsters I've ever had to deal with. Diaz, let's play! Come on, you promised yesterday. All right, all right, jeez. I'll be there in a minute. chance by yourself, Diaz. That's Priestess for you. She yells at you to meet her somewhere and then she completely blows you off. Hey, hey, Reyna! Have you been waiting long? Yes, I have. You're three hours late, Priestess. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, what did you want to see me about today? Well, it's like this. I thought you and I could go and try and flirt with some guys. What? Yeah! I mean... I could have just done it by myself, but I heard it's a lot easier to get a date if you got a partner working with you. W wait a minute, Priestess. You mean, like, we just go around and try to pick up men? Yep. That's it. I... No, Priestess. No, no, no. I can't do that. What? Why not? We'd just be talking to some guys over coffee or something. That's not the issue here. You don't have to freak out over it like that. Come on, let's just try it. Hey! You! Yeah, you! I see you over there. Priestess? Wait a minute! Second, kids. Knock it off, you guys. I thought I told you to stop picking on Creepy and Weepy. We are picking on them. Yeah, we're just playing. Well, you're annoying Ashton, so knock it off. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Sheesh, Raina's always acting like she's Ashton's mom or something. Hey! <laughs> I 
got Reyna angry. <laughs> Thanks, Reyna. You all right? Sorry about this, Ashton. Nah, it's all right. I'm just glad those kids treat me like a normal person. I'll be honest with you. When you first asked me to come with you to Arlia, I was pretty darn worried. I had no idea whether someone like me would be able to get along with everyone. But nobody here treats me like anything different at all. It's great. I'm really glad I came here. Ashton. Lunchtime, Leon. Coming. See you later, okay? Okay. Let's play some more later. What were you playing? You know, tag, hide and seek, that sort of thing. Did he have fun? Sure did. Well, great. Hey, what'd you make for lunch? I've got some yummy vegetable stir-fry today. Aww, I really don't like vegetable stir-fry. Oh, no you don't. You're never gonna be big and strong if you keep being picky like that. Yes, Reyna. I'm glad it worked out this way. Someone Leon's age ought to have time to play with other children. Sometimes it's hard to believe all the things we saw in Expel and Need really happened. Where'd that come from all of a sudden? Now that I look back on it, that whole adventure seems like it was some kind of fantastic dream. I guess you're right. Time sure flies, doesn't it? I have to admit, though, when you asked to join me in returning to Tetragenesis after the final battle, I was more than a little surprised. <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess I didn't realize how much of a pain it would be for you when I asked. Actually, I'm glad you did. Really, I was overjoyed to have you accompany me. It's just that, well, you coming with me basically meant you were leaving Expel behind, you know? I was worried that you'd regret making that decision once you arrived. It'd be a lie if I said I never missed it all, but I certainly don't have any regrets. I wouldn't have been able to see all the amazing things I've seen if you didn't let me come along. And you've taught me so much along the way, too. You know, Ernest, you really don't have a lover besides the open road, do you? Whoa, that came out of nowhere, Reyna. Well, I know you aren't the sort of person who'd be satisfied living in a quiet little house like this one. I can tell, Ernest. Sometimes I catch you looking up into the sky with the loneliest look on your face. I can take care of myself. Once you're ready to come back to the village, we'll all be here to welcome you. Thanks, Reyna, but I don't really want to go. Maybe life here in the village is a little boring. But there's a wonderful treasure sleeping here. One that makes all the ancient forbidden adventure in the universe look tame by comparison. 
And you know what that treasure is? It's you, Reyna. Ernest. Ah, there you are. Hey, Reyna. Did you need something? Yeah, I need something. You promised me that we'd go shopping together in Cross today. Ah, I guess I did, didn't I? Oh, I knew you'd forget. I'm all ready to go, too. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Ugh, all you ever think about is those animals of yours. Why can't you think about me a little, too? And in the three billion seven hundred million and fourteenth year of Need history, you pooled your powers to defeat the Ten Wise Men, thus capping off the long and illustrious history of Energy Need. Capping it off, huh? Whew. I guess we're done then. Yep. How many years did it take in the end? I can hardly remember anymore. I'm sorry I dragged you into this project. I didn't think it'd take so long. Oh, I don't mind. Not like I had anything better to do. But what made you want to write a history of need in the first place? It's not like it means anything now that the whole planet's gone. I don't care if nobody ever reads it. I just wanted to leave some sort of record behind about the lives of the Needians. I wanted to prove to the universe that Need had a worthwhile existence for us all. Is dinner ready yet, Reyna? Why don't you make it sometime if you're going to be so impatient, Welch? Oh, come on. I've got a talent for eating, not cooking. Besides, your cooking's a lot better than mine will ever be. <sighs> and so, I let you take advantage of me for yet another day. Aw, don't worry about it, Reyna. Sure, it's okay for you to stay here, Welch. You don't have to go back home. Well, I know I'm not from here and all, but I want to live with you, Reyna, and become the best creator I can be. That's why I'm here. Welch. But enough of that. Let's chow down. All right, all right. Hmm. It's getting a lot better. We ought to be able to take the bandages off by next week. I'm glad you're doing well, Bowman. Hey, Celine. You know, I heard there's a cave about a half day's journey to the west that monsters have taken up residence in. Would you like to pay them a visit then? Yeah, that'd probably be a good thing to do. You still see a lot of monsters attacking people around this area, don't you? I guess it's only natural. Yep. That's part of the reason why they've had more trouble rebuilding the Kingdom of El than people originally expected. Oh my. Are you starting to miss Linga now? Your wife's still waiting for you over there, isn't she? Well, who knows? I'm more worried about those monsters right now. You ready to go? Well, by all means.
How long are you going to follow me? Who knows? If I had to answer, I'd say until you turn around to look at me. Whatever. Whatever is fine by me. Hey, you free, babe? How about you and me hang out for a bit? What have we here? Are you trying to flirt with me? Sorry, but I already have a man in my life. Hey, you're pretty cute. You up for having coffee or something? What? Me? Yeah, you. You want to go have some fun? Oh, wow. Um, can I take Celine along with me? <laughs> what? You've got a friend with you? Awesome. Well, the two of us with the two of you, it's perfect. So, where's this friend of yours? Is she as cute as you are? Where do you think she is? She's been right here the whole time. Ah! You mean this old bitty? Oh, man. What are you doing hanging out with this bag? You people just don't know when to shut up, do you? Get the hell out of here before I smash your heads open. Ugh. I can barely stand men these days. Why do they only talk to you, Priestess? What do you think looks better, Ashton? This one, or the last one I had on? I think they're both fine. What's that supposed to mean? Don't you care what kind of clothes I wear? No, I didn't mean it like that. Then what did you mean? Well, I, uh, I mean, they both look great on you, so I'm having trouble making a choice. And stop. Oh, really? In that case, I better buy both. What? That's all right with you, right, Ashton? Oh. Uh. Ugh. <sighs> How's your research into those new symbols going? Pretty well. Except for the casting time. I feel like it's taking just a little too long to take effect. Hmm. Guess there's still some room for improvement then. Oh, speaking of which, I've got a little present for you. I picked this up earlier. It looks like it's written in ancient lettering. What kind of book is it? I'm going to start deciphering this right away. Thanks. You never know. It might turn out to be a breakthrough discovery. It's been a while. It certainly has. I'm glad you made it. I was just in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd drop by. So how have things been? <laughs> Find a man yet? What? Why do you ask me about that of all things? Why don't you answer that question yourself first, Opera? there's an altar in there yeah looks that way 
I never thought we'd see such enormous ruins in a backwater planet like this, though. What should we do next? Would you like to go back and report on our findings? Are you kidding me? I didn't come this far just to go back empty-handed. My, my. You go around calling yourself an archaeologist, but you're really no different from any other treasure hunter, are you? I'm sure you have no idea how I truly feel about you. Will I ever get another chance to see you again? No, I'm sure I will. Someday. You will. Just keep thinking about it. It'll happen. No way. I'm not dreaming, am I? Unfortunately, no. That's really me standing in front of you. What are you doing here? I thought you went back to your home planet. You called for me, and I listened. Don't be stupid. <laughs> Just joking. Sorry I'm late. Oh, it doesn't matter anymore. You're here in front of me right now. That's more than enough. I thought you'd be here. Hey, Celine. Don't hey, Celine me. You promised me we'd be going out on a date today. Oh, I guess I did, didn't I? I waited for you, and you never showed up. I figured you were probably doing something like this. <laughs> uh, sorry about that, Celine. Uh, I wish you'd stop thinking about animals so much and start thinking about me for a change. Nothing too interesting here. I can't find anything at all except some useless scraps of paper. Ah, well. These things happen sometimes. We've put so much effort into this. You'd figured we'd at least get some kind of reward for that. True, but that's what makes treasure hunting fun, isn't it? The whole hit and miss aspect of it. Why don't we try delving in a little deeper? Maybe the next great treasure is waiting for us over in the next room. Hey there, Chicky. What you doing around here? You better listen to us, unless you want to get hurt, okay? <laughs> What's so funny? You hear that? They asked us if we wanna get hurt. Ooh, sounds like fun. Wait, are you Celine and Welch? The miniskirt thief hunters? The girls who've been shaking down the bandits and destroying their hideouts? Oh, you finally noticed. So Celine, how do you like them? Medium or well done? <laughs> Let's get out of here! Ah! Are you sure you don't want to go back to Linga, though? Yep. We may have defeated the Ten Wisemen, but this place is still crawling with monsters. We can't really declare things finished unless we do something about them now, can we? That's why I thought we'd keep traveling for just a bit longer. 
Makes sense. So you got any particular destination in mind? I figured I'd cross the ocean to the ill continent first. They probably need all the help they can get right now. I see. What about you, though? What's your plan? Same as always. Just continue onwards. Why don't you come with me to L, then? There are tons of monsters over there, so I'm sure they'll need people like you. Yeah, maybe you're right. Great! You ready to go? There sure are a lot of wild monsters around these parts, aren't there? Yep. They've had a lot more trouble rebuilding the El Kingdom than people expected. Yeah. Well, we've driven most of the monsters out of these parts, at least. Thanks for your help, Ashton. I feel bad having you come all the way out here for me. Are you interested in going back to the liqueur laboratory at all? The king said he'd be willing to reopen the pharmaceutical research section if you ever came back. Sorry. I know you're asking me and everything, but I'm just not interested. Why not? There isn't a scholar in the world who wouldn't love to work at the liqueur royal laboratory. Well, there's nothing wrong with being holed up in a laboratory and staring at beakers all day or whatever. I just think that if you spend your whole life doing that, you start missing out on the important stuff. I don't want to do research just for the sake of getting published and earning tenure. I want to do it so I can make everyone around me feel secure and happy. All right, all right. Sheesh. I'm sorry I brought it up. Did Leon stop by again? Yeah. I can't blame him for acting that way, though. He's got it tough. You could probably go all over the world and never find anyone with half the talent that he has. He's a genius, but it's... Hmm. You're doing a lot better. We ought to be able to take the bandages off next week. Doing well, Bowman? I cleared out most of the monsters from that nest to the east. Aw, oh, sorry about that, Opera. I was gonna do it myself, but I've been pretty swamped lately. Oh, that's all right. It was pretty easy. I didn't really need any help. But listen, are you sure you're happy here? You don't want to go back to your home planet or anything. Hey, I've been here this long. Might as well see it to the end, right? I'd have trouble sleeping at night if I left at this point. It's gonna take a lot longer than we thought to rebuild the Elk Kingdom, though. Well, so what? Another month or year won't make that much of a difference. I'm gonna stick it out. I promise. Thanks. Wow. There's a word I don't hear from you much. Boy, it's sure been a while, hasn't it? You got that right. Three years already. You ought to come by to visit more often, you know that? It's not like I can just hop a ride to your place whenever I want. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. They're keeping me pretty busy at the university. Oh, what? <laughs> did you get some female student who can't stop chasing you around the way opera did? 
Well, that too, yeah. What? Are you serious? Listen, did you know that Opera had a sister? That's the first I've heard of it. Her name's Opal. Let me tell you, she's just like her sister, down to her stubbornness and flat-out craziness. Professor Ravid? Opal! You're so cruel to me, just leaving me without saying a word. I had to go through a lot of trouble to find you, sir. How... how did you know I was even here? I asked Opera and she told me that if you were anywhere in this universe, it had to be on this planet. So I borrowed her spaceship and hurried on over here. Ah, I see. Oh, but I'm so glad I finally found you, sir. When I landed the spaceship, I kind of brought it down a little quicker than I meant to. And now the thing doesn't even turn on anymore. I totally swear I didn't know what it was going to do before I found you. And I'm not kidding either. I just bumped the ship's bottom against the ground a little bit, just a teeny tiny bit. Those are some fearsome siblings, all right. Oh, man. I could use another drink. I do trust you, Leon. Let's just try it then, okay? We'll find out one way or the other once we get that orb. I, I think I broke something when I fell. Oh, really? All right, let's see here. Hey, I can move it! You fixed it! I think I've caught a nasty cold. Oh dear, that's certainly no good. Here goes. Oh, my head feels so much lighter. Thank you, thank you. Mm hmm? Busy as always, I see. Here you go. Clary Sage, Deal Whip, Artemis Leaf, and Athelus. I've picked ten of each for you, Bowman. Oh, I appreciate it. Then I'll be off now to the Lascus Mountains to pick up some Matorx. I'll be back in about a month. See you later. Huh? Hey, wait a minute! She's gone. Aww. Doesn't she realize how far Laskus is from here? You should really give that new employee of yours a raise. She's so dedicated to her work. Dedicated nothing? With her, it's more like OCD. Sure, I'm sure. I'll be all right. Oh? Well, all right. We're in this together now. No, I, I just want some stomach medicine, that's all. That's why I'm trying to give you a deal on this pink number right here. It helps with digestion and with the ladies at the same time. Um... It's just normal medicine, please. It works against colds, too. Oh, great. There she goes again. Sounds like you're doing good business today.
Now it's just getting noisy. Well, she is helping my bottom line, but she could calm down a little. two up to I haven't heard a peep out of either one of you ah oh, time slowing to a crawl look simmer down okay you're only going to be hurting yourself more if you keep resisting arrest We've already found the hostage. It's all over for you. Sh shut up! Nice work, Dias. You had him totally outclassed with your sword. Don't thank me. That was all you're doing. Aren't many people in the world who can swing a sword faster than me. Yeah. But it's kind of a drag we still have to deal with this sort of thing. The whole sorcery globe's furor finally subsided, too. What do you want me to say? That's reality. And besides, it means we're never hurting for work. You got that right. Anyway, I guess we're finished once we take this kid back to town. You take him. You're the one who rescued him, so you take the credit. There you go again. Ah, well. Let's do this again sometime, Diaz. We might be on opposite sides next time. Oh, man. I don't know if I could deal with that. Would you guys want to fight him? Got company. We're surrounded. Stay away from me. You're in my way. Are you joking? Come on. I can at least protect your back. Here, let me show you. So, what do you need this time? I discovered the ruins of a previously unknown civilization on another planet a little while ago. Unfortunately, the planet's also home to a large population of ferocious wild animals. So you need a bodyguard? Basically, yeah. Got it. I'm sorry to bother you with this, but everybody else I've tried, they couldn't even defend themselves, much less me. It's all right. If it's a paying job, I'm always up for it. We should probably leave for the next town soon. Hey, wake up! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm up! I'm up! It's morning. We need to go. <sighs> yeah, all right. I have no idea how you can sleep so much. You sleep half the day away. Well, what do you want me to do? I get tired. <sighs> I think my traveling speed has been cut in half since I started working with you. Hey, don't fall asleep on me. Whoa! <sighs> all right, all right. I'm getting up. You aren't really a cat, are you? 
Oh, come on. I don't sleep that much, Diaz. That's the only explanation I can think of. You're still here? I'm doing a special feature on you, Diaz. It's called The Lonely Warrior of Expel. Here, let me interview you for a sec. No. Oh, come on! You know I'm gonna keep following you until I get what I want. <sighs> Whatever. No, you hurry up. Walk faster if you want to keep up. Oh, come on now. If you're going to be like that, then I'm out of here. Hmm. Okay, then leave. Uh, stop picking on me all the time. I'm not trying to. Hmm. I'm not supposed to be abused like this. This wasn't in my character description. You're the one doing the abusing around here. You know what? That really hurt. Great. Now hurry up. Uh, hey! Uh, wait up! away for it'll work this time I promise that's what you said the last time it didn't work that was then Ashton this is now the machine I've got this time is absolutely positively definitely gonna work I swear L listen I appreciate you looking for a way to get me back to normal but you don't have to do all this for me Besides, I thought you said you didn't mind Creepy and Weepy. Um, I... I don't mind them. No, but they make things inconvenient sometimes, you know? Inconvenient? How? Ah, Forget it! Anyway, if I can get them off your body without hurting them, then you've got nothing to complain about. Right? Right. No, I guess not. I just don't want it to be so painful. Man up a little. Priestess, did you get hurt? No, I'm okay. Oh, thank goodness. If anything ever happened to you, I don't know what I'd do. Ashton. <laughs> Close your eyes or something when we're like this? Alright, that should just about do it. In theory, anyway. Can't really say for sure unless we actually try it. Oh, quit your worrying. We're the ones who made this thing. What could possibly go wrong? But we're combining electromotive force with symbological force for the first time! Who knows what's gonna happen? You think too much, Leon. Well, you're treating it like it's some kind of walk in the park, Priestess. Huh? Whoa!
Say, Priestess, you don't have any regrets about coming to Tetragenesis with me, do you? Why are you asking me that all of a sudden? I know you asked me to take you along, but sometimes I wonder if that was really the best thing for you. I mean, you coming with me basically meant that you were giving up your life on Expel. You don't have to worry about that, Opera. I'm the one who wanted to join you. If I have any regrets, it's my fault. But, you know, I just worry about how we must have made your father feel when you left him. Oh, it's all right. The bird has to leave the nest sometime. My dad always said that to me. I just kind of flew a lot further away than most of them do. going? Well, I'm going to take a little trip over to Tetragenesis. Tetragenesis? Never heard of that place. Is it far? Not really. You can see it from our house at night. See you later! We need to get going. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm all ready. At night! The sun feels good, doesn't it? Oh, it's great. Yeah, it's starting to make me a little sleepy. Well, let's go rest for a little bit. Hey! Wait for me! Oh! My goodness! Priestess! Big news! Some kind of mystery object fell from the sky in the desert to the west of Cross! Where is that again? You know, the desert west of the Alaska's mountains. Hurry, we need to get there first. See you there. Hey, you could at least wait a minute for me. Well, I'm gonna take a little trip over to Cross. I'll probably be back in about a month, so don't worry about me, okay? I'm glad she's made a friend, but it's making my life even more hectic. What do you think of that guy over there? Hmm, I think I like the other one better. Well then, let's try to pick him up at the same time. Okay. Here goes. Hey, um, hey, you want a drink or something? Would you like to have a drink or something? Sorry, I'm not into kids. Ask me again in five years. Uh, thanks, but I'm taken. <sighs> How could he possibly be immune to my charms? Why is a good man so hard to find around here? Let's try it again, Welch. Roger, I'll grab me a bite of beefcake one of these days. Next hot scoop.
Um, Leon, are you sure we'll find a way to split us apart around here? Hey, I got a really good lead. What do you think, we're barking up the wrong tree? I'm not saying that, no. Well then, trust me. We can use the sacred orb inside here to separate you from the demonic dragon without either of you getting hurt. Do you really think so, though? I'm having a little trouble believing it. It took me an entire year to track down this lead, Ashton. Why don't you trust me? The sun sure feels good, doesn't it? It really does. It's so nice and warm out. Kind of makes me a little sleepy. Speaking of which, Noel, what should we do about rent this month? We're pretty much broke right now. Mm, we can think about that later. I'm too tired to worry about it right now. Yeah, there's always time to think about it after a nap. Uh, I'm sure it'll work itself out. There's a good nappy spot up a little ways. The sun hits it just right. It's perfect. You want to check it out? It ought to be nice and warm by now. All right. Are you sure it's in here? What, are you saying my source is wrong? Well, no, but... Then quit worrying. We're gonna find a way to get rid of your curse in here, without hurting Creepy and Weepy. But we've been looking for almost a year now. If we haven't found it yet, I'm starting to doubt that we'll ever find it. Stop whining. You're always so negative about everything. You gotta look on the bright side of life. Well, there's something to be said about being a little too positive. What was that? Listen, are you really gonna look for a way to exercise Creepy and Weepy from my body? Sure am. Uh, could you maybe think it over? I mean, I've been with these guys for so long. I'd miss them if they disappeared on me. What? So you'd rather be with a couple of dragons instead of me? No, 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 that's not what I meant. Come on, guys, defend me here. <laughs> Come on now, guys. Answer my question, Ashton. Well, I mean, you're important to me, Welch, but Creepy and Weepy have been with me for so many battles. Ugh, you sound so pathetic. Listen, I have an idea. An idea? Once we exercise Creepy and Weepy from your body, why don't we keep them as pets? Uh, do you have any idea how big a dragon is? Oh, what are you up to, Leon? Just thinking a little. Are you feeling homesick? No way. I'm just remembering some of the adventures we had. Hmm. We sure went through a lot, didn't we? I hope everyone's doing okay. Would you like to go back to Expel sometime, Leon? What makes you say that? Well, I just see you staring up toward the stars every now and then, so... Well, 
I'd be lying if I said I didn't get lonely sometimes. But in the end, I think this is where I need to be. Besides, how else am I going to be with you, Opera? <laughs> oh, no offense, Leon, but you're about ten years too young for that. Well, give me ten years, then. Actually, could you make it five? Tell you what, I'll get back to you on that. Hmm, looks like there's an altar up ahead. Yep, I never thought we'd see such enormous ruins in a backwater planet like this. So, what's next? We've got the coordinates down. You want to go back and report in on this? Oh, like you're going to do anything besides keep going? Why do you even ask? Just being polite. <sighs> yeah. Well, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see them again someday. What are you doing here? That's what I'd like to know. I recommended you to the head of the LaCour Biological Laboratory, and you spend all day just sitting here. <laughs> Sorry to make you worry about me. I like hanging out here by myself. I even made a request to the king on your behalf. <laughs> What about you, Leon? Are you sure you have the time to be here? Work must be keeping you pretty busy. Oh, that's no problem. I just quit a little while earlier. What? I realized something during our adventure. I've been spending my whole life building what's basically a murder machine. So, I quit. Listen, Noel, do you think you could get me a job doing something here? It'll be much harder work than you think, Leon. You should. Hold it. That's a Nedian symbol you just used. I told you, you can't use anything Nedian anymore. Oh, come on. What's the big deal? It's not like I'm hurting anybody. No! Do it over again the right way. Oh man! Why do you have to be so hard on me? I'm not being hard on you. How many times do I have to tell you? Yeah, I know. Need is way, way more advanced than Expel. And if I use my need knowledge, then it'll disrupt the balance of power on this planet. Blah, blah, blah. Well, if you know all that, then why do you keep doing it? It's just this trivial little thing. It doesn't even matter. No means no. I don't care how trivial it is. No exceptions. Oh, man, I'm not going to make the next academic conference thanks to you. There aren't many of us Medians left. We've got to give our lives everything we've got. Hmm. How do you use this thing? I think it works like this. Nothing for someone like me. I am a genius, after all. Huh. I guess your mind's great, but the rest of you is still a child. 
Well, you're the one who keeps on treating me like a baby. If you don't like it, then grow up already. I'm gonna go find someone else if you keep me waiting any longer. Man, you don't have to be so rough on me, Welch. Pretty, isn't it? You like it? Yes. I was wondering why you decided to land on yet another underdeveloped planet all of a sudden. <laughs> Sorry about that. H hey, where are you going? Hmm? Oh, I think I saw a building in the scan I did earlier. It might be some kind of ancient ruin. Um, I think I know the answer to this question. But is that the reason why you landed on this planet, Ernest? Of course. Why? Oh, nothing. I just figured it was something like that. What do you mean by that? Nothing. Honey, I'm home. What are you doing here? I thought the excavation was going to take longer. Got it done early. I didn't want you to go chasing me across the universe again. Oh, Ernest. I wouldn't do anything like that. I mean, you actually called me honey just now. Did I? I guess I did. Well, honey, I'm home. Welcome back. What are you doing here at this time of day, though? Did something happen? Well, you know, this and that. <laughs> and, uh, I kind of wound up running into this little guy. I just gave him a little food. But I guess he must think I'm his mother or something. <laughs> oh, not again. How many dogs do you think this is? <laughs> uh, I don't know. The tenth? It's the seventeenth, Noel. The seventeenth! I know we've got a big house and everything, but we just can't have any more pets in here. Ugh. All right, all right. But this is the last one. I mean it. Hipper, Cher, Bismarck, Blucher, Emden, Gneisenau, Spey, Zeppelin, Karus, Köln, Kernisch, Leip, Lutzoff, Nurum, Eugen, Scharn. What's up, Opera? You going to a dance? I sure am. You want to come with me, Chisato? Are you joking? I can't stand that dumb aristocratic stuff. There are a lot of men hoping to see you there, you know. Sorry, but I'll pass. All that tight formal wear, I feel like I'm gonna suffocate if I wear it too long. Oh. Well, that's a shame. Say, Opera, I've been wondering for a while, how do you wear that kind of clothing all the time? Doesn't it bother you at all? Well, I have to. I'm the heiress of the Vectra family, after all. Not that I particularly enjoy it, but I've got appearances I need to keep up. Hmm, funny, isn't it? 
If all those guys knew that the elegant Lady Opera used to shoot these huge guns all over the place, I bet they'd be shocked. Oh, knock it off. My parents are already on my back about it. I went on that journey without their permission, and they're never going to let me forget it. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'll keep that off the record. Aw, trying to cheer me up, little guy. Thanks. Say, Opera. Yes? Do I really have to go to the next ball your family holds? Of course you do. Oh, I'm totally horrible with that formal stuff. Well, it's not like I enjoy it either. So why do you do it? Because I want to introduce you to everyone as my sister. Sister? Uh-huh. My pride for my next... Wow! This place is just amazing! I never get sick of it. Oh, yeah? I usually don't get excited by anything except ancient ruins on forgotten planets. Yeah, I can see that, I suppose. This is a mechanized society, one that rejects all other forms of life, and we think this is some kind of ideal. Well, they wouldn't have called you to this conference if they didn't appreciate your research, Ernest. Why are you in such a foul mood about it? All those scholars do with their time is prattle away at each other from behind their desks. How is it? Looks like there's an altar in there. Seems to be that way. I never thought we'd see such enormous ruins in a backwater planet like this. <laughs> Finders keepers! Whoa, wait a minute. It could be dangerous. Oh, it's just fine. Whoa! Ah! Whoa, whoa! Chisaro! Wow, that scared me. I thought I was gonna die. Ah, uh, stop worrying me like that. I told you to be careful in here. <laughs> Sorry. I promise I won't do it again. So don't get angry at me, okay? I think I remember her saying that during our last expedition, too. Yeah, it's always the same thing from her. I'd hardly call it an expedition until she screwed something up. I'm amazed she gets through it alive time and time again. It's got to be more than just luck by this point. Hey, what are you doing? Move it! Uh, uh, right, right away, away sir! sir. I'm missing a bit. I head home. Well, Ernest, you're just leaving without saying a word. That's not very fair. Well, you were going to follow me anyway, weren't you? All I want to do is go somewhere I haven't been before. Maybe I'll find something new there. 
And since you're from another planet, there's all the more chance you'll make that dream come true. <sighs> you really want to be with me that much? Sure do. I want to know who you really are. I want to know everything about you. What are you talking about? You're embarrassing me. <laughs> You're still just... Well, I guess it's true. We're still alive. Yeah, just us. Even if you count Reyna, that still leaves only three Nidians in the entire universe. Yeah, I don't mind my new life or anything, but sometimes I really miss the old need life. Maybe we should have gone down with the ship like everyone else. Oh, don't be silly. Don't you remember what we promised Mayor Nall? He wanted us to make the best of our lives. Of course. How could I forget? So why are you feeling so down then? Let's leave the past where it belongs. In the past. We can take it out and look at it every now and then. But mainly, we need to leave it be. As for us, we need to keep going towards the future. for me. Sure. Oh. Let me have those documents. All right. Listening to every word I say like that. Hmm? Don't hmm me. I want to devote myself to you completely, Welch. That's what I live for. Well, don't you want something for a change? I feel like I've been traveling forever in search of my next hot scoop. But it never just drops in your lap, does it? <sighs> Ooh, a crowd of people! Looks like we've got an incident here. Bring me a hundred million full, or the kid gets it. <laughs> what a jerk! What are we gonna do, Chisato? We're gonna do something about it, of course. What did you think? That's what I wanna hear. Ah! 
Earth. I'm finally back after all this time. I wonder how everyone's doing. Mom! Well, see you later. Wait a minute. What is it, Reyna? Don't what is it, Reyna me. You went there yesterday and the day before that. What's wrong with that? I like going there. It helps me relax. Oh, come on, why can't I go? Because I said so. I don't care how peaceful things are now. Besides, how could that... See you later! Uh, wait! Ah... Uh. What's with her? She never used to like going to the sacred forest so much. Oh, that was close. Why does Rena always have to harp on me like that? I better get to the sacred forest quick if I want to make it there. I think I'm on the right track here. Well, I guess it's the hit and miss part of treasure hunting that makes it so exciting after all. Hmm, maybe I'll try delving a little further in. There might be something more interesting waiting for me inside. Could you get out of my way for a second, please? I'm afraid we cannot, Lady Celine. What would we do if something happened to you? I already told you that you don't have to worry about me. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I'm afraid we do have to worry about it, my lady. If you insist on leaving, then I'm afraid you must kill me for the privilege. Oh, brother. You don't have to be so dramatic about it. Hey, what's going on here? Ah, King Clouser. Clyde? What's the problem here, then? Your Highness, the Queen keeps going on about wanting to depart on an adventure. Oh, is that all? What do you mean, your majesty? I know Expel's a big place, but I doubt anyone in it is foolish enough to try and lay a hand on Selene. You should know by now how well she can take care of herself. Uh, but King Clouser... Knock yourself out, Selene. Just remember your duties as a queen, all right? I'll need you back here by the Harvest Festival in the fall. Are you sure? I know this castle must be giving you cabin fever, but promise me you'll come back here safe, okay? Of course, Clyde. Thank you. Bowman. Oh, hello there, Keith. Boy, long time no see, that's for sure. What's that supposed to mean? You act like you haven't seen me in years. Well, I've been pretty busy with stuff. What brings you here? Oh, right. Remember that book you gave me? 
I've pretty much finished translating it, so I thought I'd report back to you on it. What book? What, you don't remember? That ancient text you and those guys brought me from Cross Cave? Oh, that one. Apparently, it's some kind of ancient mythological history. It's full of old legends about the domain of the gods that existed long ago. The domain of the gods? That's right. Unfortunately, there are too many missing pages for me to make out all of the details. Say, uh, that domain wouldn't be called Need by any chance, would it? How did you know that? Oh, just a guess. Sorry, I haven't been around in a while. I had to deal with some stuff. Have you been watching me, Cecile? I never thought I'd be saving the universe someday. I have so many stories for you. I don't know where to start. Hey, Precious! You want some tea or something? Give me just one second, okay? I think I'm almost done here. You haven't changed a bit, have you? Huh? Well, you did go off on an adventure to save the universe, didn't you? I mean, I figured the experience would have made you a little more... you know, mature. Well, gee, sorry I'm not mature enough for you. It's not like traveling for a few months is going to change my entire outlook on life or anything. But, uh, you were saying something about tea? I guess she could go to hell and back and it wouldn't change her one bit. <sighs> this is so boring. It's already been a whole year. I wonder how everyone's doing. I wasn't with them for very long, but boy. Oh, hey, Ashton. <laughs> Where have you been? Sorry it's been so long, Eleanor. How have things been? You had any health problems since then? No, I've been doing very well. And it's all thanks to you, Ashton. Oh, I guess Creepy and Weepy helped out too. Thanks, you guys. Ashton. Hey, you need to keep believing in your dreams. Okay, Eleanor? We all gotta do our best. Sure thing! Okay? Okay. Let's play some more later. What were you playing? Oh, you know, tag, hide and seek, that sort of thing. Well, great. I'll be back at home, okay?
Leon's certainly a lot more cheerful than he used to be. He sure is. He never used to smile and laugh like this. I think the way we used to treat Leon was a terrible mistake. We never allowed him to be a kid. Kids that age need to get dirty. They need to run around, skin their knees a couple of times, and have fun with their life. Is something the matter, me lady? Oh, I was just reminiscing a bit. Ah, yes. The adventure where me lady and her companions saved the universe. Yep. Not that I expect you to believe any of it. Of course I do, milady. I have humbly served as your butler for many years now. I know you are not the type of lady who would lie about such things. Thanks, Alfred. I wonder how everyone's doing. Where did you run off to? I've been waiting for you this whole time. I need an answer from you. Looks like there's an altar in there. Looks like it. I never thought we'd see such enormous ruins in a backwater planet like this. So what now? You want to go back and report on this? You kidding me? You want me to turn back when the prize is dangling right in front of us? Come on, get moving. Uh, right, right away, away sir. sir. Oh, and don't touch that rock over there with a the different color. It's probably rigged to set something off. It's been a long time since that little journey of mine. I kind of miss everybody. Hope they're all doing okay. Ah, trying to cheer me up, little guy. Thanks. <sighs> this is so boring. I hope everyone's doing okay. Oh, look at me. I can't let myself live in the past like this. I need to think about what I'm gonna do next. Ah, uh, this world was a lot of fun. Would have been perfect if I could have found the right man, but oh well. Now, where should I go next? Man, how can everyone be late? I hope I didn't come here on the wrong day or anything. I'm pretty sure it was today, though. You're late, guys. Sorry, Claude. We all ran into each other earlier, so we kind of started talking and, well, you know. What, you didn't even miss me? Oh, that's not fair. But it's sure been a long time, hasn't it? 
Now that I think about it, it seems like ages. Sure does. I'm just glad everyone's okay. Come on, let's go back to my house. We've got a ton to talk about. <laughs>